morning guys welcome back to another video if you're new here my name is honey k and make sure you subscribe because we lit over here period and if you watched my last video then you know at the end of the video i realized my camera was in slow motion so i had to like do a voiceover y'all why did i not change my settings on my camera once i realized that while i was editing so this entire vlog of this weekend which i started the vlog off on friday i believe the whole thing was in slow motion. So, so with that being said, I'm just going to do, what am I going to do, y'all? My girl, get it together. I'm so frustrated that that happened, but I got some clips of my weekend, so I'm going to just tell y'all about my weekend, and then tell y'all about how last night went, and then we'll just keep the vlog going. Right now, I'm in the middle of doing my money count for last night, and while I was doing my money count, you guys, that's when I realized that it was in slow motion, because it said it in the corner. And I'm like, girl. So I go back and look at all my footage and it's all in freaking slow motion. Who's praying on my downfall for real? Anyways, I'm about to give y'all a rundown of my whole weekend. Are y'all ready? Let's go. Because it was a weekend. Friday, boom. What happened Friday? I'm going to start off with Thursday. So Thursday, I went to go see some clubs, y'all. I went to go check out some clubs because y'all know my club was changing its hours. But it turns out we're only changing our hours for the month of April. Thank God, because us closing early this weekend has really slowed down the money. I'm not going to lie. It really has. So Thursday, it motivated me to go check out some clubs. But I was checking out clubs that were like on the outskirts of LA, like in OC and stuff like that. OC is Orange County, y'all. It's like 35 minutes from LA, no traffic. First of all, I did that drive to those clubs and I was like, I would not want to do this drive to go work. Like I would not. And those clubs are charging the same house fee as my club charges. Then I go to these clubs, y'all. They're gentlemen's clubs, so y'all know how that is for me. I'm not a big fan of gentlemen's clubs. I'm more of a fan of a booty club. Comment down below which type of club you like more, booty clubs or gentlemen's clubs. So I'll insert some clips of me going to go check these clubs out. Okay, we at club number two, y'all. <laughs> Let's see how it goes. Because number one was not it. Oh, yeah, huh? Oh, you were going to heal my point? Y'all, you that back. Because listen, I got to go fast. Okay? Come back. We end up coming to Barry. Y'all, I love the lobster pizza with my wings every time. And like I said, that was on Thursday. So then after that, I had just made my decision. Like, I'm not going to go to these new clubs. I'm just going to... I'm just gonna stick it out with my home club for the weekends and then during the week i just decided that during the week i'm gonna go to my other club that i go to every now and then but i'll be working like day shift over there so i was like you know what i'm gonna do i'm gonna just work day shift over there throughout the week and then on the weekends i'll just work at my home club so then friday comes and i go to work like usual i made 600 at work and then I did a private party and I made 600 at that private party. So I came home with 1200 even. So I was happy about that. Am I from LA? Uh -huh. And even though our hours did change, my club ended up doing this thing where they were like, oh, if you didn't work during the week, then you have to pay the usual house fee, which is 150. So I had to pay 150 on Friday to work. All because I didn't work during the week with the new hours. So the girls who worked during the week with the new hours, they got to pay a hundred dollar house fee. But I'm like, whatever, I still made twelve hundred, so it is what it is. So then there was like a little issue with the private party, y'all. I ended up getting my honey chain snatched off my neck, like all type of shit. Like literally all type of shit. Y'all know I just got that honey chain fixed too. Like it irritated me like it was a lot of drama with that um i really don't want to get into it into details so yeah i'm gonna just go get my chain fixed again y'all but the way my chain got broke y'all it's like 
I never had my chain snatched off my neck before. And I'm laughing because it was really also like ATL type type stuff. Like, I'm like, give me my chain back. Why? Because it means something to me. Like, bro, it's not funny. Like, it was just the point that it really was giving ATL vibes. Nice little laugh about this, huh? Give me back my necklace. No. Give me my damn necklace back. Why should I? Because it's mine. And it means something to me. My chain got broke, broke though. Like, it wasn't like broke in half and then you just go get it fixed. Like, no. I guess it got snatched off my neck so hard that it broke into two pieces. Like, the chain is into, in two pieces now. And I lost one of the pieces. So I only have one piece of the chain. I'm going to show y'all the chain. Hold on. So this is the chain, y'all. Uh, this, this is not, like, this don't even go around my neck. Y'all see what I mean by it broke into pieces? So the, I don't know where the rest of the chain was at, but I still have the clamp part. So I'm like, whatever. Um, I have an anklet. I have a rope anklet. So I was just like, you know what? I'm going to just turn this into an anklet at this point because it is small. It could really just be an anklet for real. And then I was like, I'll just add a charm onto it and that'll be cute. You know, I'll just stack both my ropes and then add a charm onto this one. Because the fact that this chain has been broken twice already and the way it got snatched, I don't even want it to be a chain no more. I'm finna just go get a new one. So I'm gonna turn that into an anklet and I'm gonna go get me another chain for my honey chain. I really, really wanna get, I'm not even gonna tell y'all what, what I wanna get. We just gonna see if I end up getting it or not. I might just get another rope chain, I don't know. But yeah, so I'm gonna end up just turning that into an anklet and putting a charm on it and that'll be real cute. Money count for Friday was 1200. Then Saturday we went to work and Saturday was horrible. Like horrible. Y'all, my friend paid for my house fee to go to work on Saturday, which I'm glad because I literally came home with $162 after the, I did my money count for Saturday. It was so freaking bad, y'all. Like I was like, this is crazy. It really threw me off. Like Saturday pissed me off so bad because I really wanted to make a bag Saturday because my envelope challenge, y'all, it's getting like hard. It's getting hard. 22K in 100 days is not easy, okay? It's, it's getting real, real hard now. It's getting down to the last envelopes. I swear I tried to do like the big numbers first, but it just didn't work out like that. All my envelopes are like 300 a day, 200 a day. And for me to have a night where I only made $162, it's crazy. I really was just glad my friend paid for my house fee. So technically the 162 was profit, but at the same time, I really just could have kept my 150 and stayed home. If you get what I'm saying, but it is what it is. I told myself I was gonna work the whole weekend and that's what I did. So yeah, that's how Saturday went. I was highly, highly irritated, but that irritation gave me motivation. Like one thing about me, I'ma figure it out regardless. So Sunday comes y'all. I'm like, no way am I gonna go to work after what happened on Saturday. Like, no freaking way. Then I'm on the phone, my homegirl really debating, like, what should we do, what should we do, what should we do? And she had made a couple comments like, you know, a lot of girls is not gonna be at work tonight. It's Sunday, Saturday was so bad, so I really don't think nobody gonna come. So whatever money coming there, it's gonna be our money. I'm like, yeah, it's gonna be our money, but is any money gonna come? Like, at that point, because if no money came on Saturday, then what's gonna come on Sunday? But I'm like, you know what? Sometimes the money do be there on Sunday. So I'm like, damn. Then like an hour later, y'all, I get a text from my friend. He like, are you working tonight? I say, yeah, I am. Because obviously if you ask me if I'm working tonight, you probably gonna wanna come see me. So I'm like, yeah, I am. And he was like, all right, I'm gonna pull up on you. I'm like, okay, bet. So boom, I got a table. And I know how he coming already. So I was like, like cool, I got a table. So I'm definitely gonna go to work. And the fact that I know how he coming, I know he gonna buy a bottle and all of that. So I was like, basically I sold a section. So if you sell a section at my club, then your next house fee is free. So I'm like, cool. So I get to work around, y'all, I looked so good last night too. I'm so mad at this slow motion like. So I go to work, I get to work around at like 11. I'm like, let me try to go kind of early. It's only like five of us there when I first get there. By the end of the night, it ended up being like a total of nine girls that worked, but that's not a lot of girls at all. When I first get there, y'all, it's really only like two people there. It's slow, cause it's early, you know, people's not used to us opening up early. So it's like two people there at the bar. So I go to the back, get dressed. And then it's this one guy there and he's like by himself or whatever. So I go talk to him. I'm like, hey, how are you? Introduce myself. He's like automatically off the bat, like 
I'm so sad. I'm like, what's wrong? Being a dancer, you don't know if you're gonna be a therapist one day or a freaking turn up buddy the next. Like, you just never know what you go get sometimes with customers. Some dudes really just be wanting somebody to talk to and they'll pay you just to talk to them. So I'm like, what's going on with you? He's like, oh, please don't tell anybody you saw me here because I just broke up with my girlfriend. I forgot this guy gave me this for a conversation we love that not this guy though that i'm talking about it was a different guy so he's like don't tell anybody that you saw me here he told me his name or whatever but i'm not gonna say his name because he was trying to be secretive about being in there he was like why do i have a whole red bull can in my bag you never know what you go find in this money bag at, at this point but okay he's like yeah don't tell anybody I'm, i was here because i'm me and my girlfriend were like a famous couple or whatever and we just broke up and I'm just really sad about it and I'm just going through it and my life is falling apart and I got I just got a DUI, I just crashed my car, I've been off hella drugs, blah, 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 blah. I'm like, well, damn, like, okay, let's get into it for real. So he tells me his name. Oh, I almost just dropped all this money. He tells me his name. Um, I'm like, oh, okay, I, I really never heard of y'all before, but I'm sorry y'all broke up, Haven't like trying to make him feel better, stuff like that. Then he goes along to tell me how he has no money. Okay, time for me to go. Um, let's wrap this up. So I'm really sorry that happened. I wish you nothing but the best. I'm going to go ahead and go to the back and freshen up really quick. Um, I hope your night goes better. And no more crashing cars and no more DUIs. Have a good one. Like, I'm sorry. I'm down to try to make somebody feel better if you're tipping me. Because this is work at the end of the day. I'm not. A therapist gets paid. So should a stripper. So I go to the back, freshen up, come back out. It's these, um, it's like four new people walking in. It's two girls and two guys. And I end up introducing myself to them, talking to them. They asking me like, why is it so dry? And I was telling them like, we're usually just now opening at this time. And they're like, oh, okay. They were saying that they was from Oklahoma. Shout out to Oklahoma. Cause they started off quick, quick and easy. I talked to them, introduced myself. Their boyfriends was going to go get the money from the bar and they already had their drinks and everything. As soon as their boyfriends came back with the money, they was turning up. They started throwing money. I started dancing, period. They threw like 200. My homegirl come out from the back because I texted her like, it's money out here. Come out here. By the time she see the text, they had already threw like 200 at me. And then she seen the text, so she come over there talking to them and stuff. I picked my money up so she can get on stage with me. Mind y'all, last night we didn't have no sweepers. So I'm sweeping up my own money because the club just been so slow. We don't even got no sweepers. So then I pick my, sweep my money up, pick it up. She get on stage with me. They get like 200 maybe 300 more um they throw it at both of us then we just talking to them and stuff then i see this couple walk in y'all i'm on it so i walk over there or whatever i'm talking to them introducing myself um he hands me a 50 which is where this 50 came from just for talking to them and then another girl walks over there and when she walks over there i start dancing she started dancing he starts throwing money i'm dancing for them for like five ten minutes at the most they probably done through like a hundred dollars but it's two of us over there so that's like not even a full hundred that's like forty dollars for real five minutes pass or whatever my table walks in i'm like oh period my table here i gotta go <laughs> i'm talking to my friend who came to see me and he's like already ready to start off so i'm like okay damn so he gave me a thousand to go get ones i'm like okay so i go get the ones and then i tell the girl who i have partnered up with for the couple, like, oh, you could just pick it up. I'm finna dance over here. Um, I'm not gonna be able to come back over here. I tell the couple, thank you. Have a nice rest of y'all night, you know. And then I go back to my section. Give him the thousand. Of course, girls is being thirsty. I'm asking him, like, so do you only want me? Or how do you want to do it? Because he did come with, like, a group of people or whatever. Um, I'm not gonna say who he is. But he is somebody who, he not gonna come to the club alone. Like, he's gonna definitely have an entourage with him. So, with that being said, he has started off with a thousand. Like, do you just want me over here? Or do you want, like, more girls for your friends? And he was like, it could just be you for real. And I was like, okay, bet. So, it's girls lined up trying to get in the section. I'm like, oh, it's just going to be me. So, some girls walk away and two girls just decide they want to just come in anyways. One of the girls, though, I'm cool with her. So, I'm like, like to be honest, it could be me and her on the bag since it's like a group of y'all. And then he was like, all right, that's cool. So then his other homie walked over and was like, hey, bro, like, I want her. Like, can she stay? To about another girl. And he was like, I don't really care if you cool with it. It don't matter. Like, I'm like, he ends up giving that friend that asked for the girl, like, $300. So I'm like, whatever. 
out of the thousand. So I'm like, whatever. So it ended up being three of us on the bag, but I'm like, he started off with a thousand. That's not really gonna make sense. So let me get on stage. That's, with, with it being my section, of course, I'm on the bag. Whatever they're throwing in the section, I'm on that bag, but I'm also about to take him on stage because it really was supposed to be the whole band to myself, but it's cool. So we start dancing in the section or whatever. The bottle comes, we drink in, we get in lit. I tell my friend, like, throw some money on me on stage. So I get on stage, I start dancing. He throws some money on me on stage. I ask him, like, let me throw some money on, on myself. So I start throwing money on myself on stage. Y'all know me. I just be lit. I was drinking. It was fun. It was a vibe. And he's a Sag too. So it's just like two Sages together is always a good freaking time. I get off stage. We keep dancing. I tell him, like, you want to get some more money? And he's like, yeah. So he gets 500 more. And then he throws the 500 and then he's like, all right, it's, it was like one o'clock at this point. We only had like an hour left open. So he's like, all right, I'm going to go. What you going to do after this? I'm like, I don't know. Probably just go home for real. And he was like, all right. And then he was like, I'll, I'll hit you up or whatever. I was like, okay, bet. Thank you. And then he left. And then I had to try to scope the scene out, see what else was going on. It wasn't really nothing else going on. So I was like, okay, we could just start counting this bag. So we had to pick the freaking money up ourselves. So we picked the money up. And uh, we started counting our money and stuff. Y'all, why I go to the back to go get dressed while they're counting the money or whatever? And we all just talking. And I don't even know how this came up. We were talking about how some girls are mean and so how some girls are nice. And I was like, I think I'm nice, to be honest. Like, for a dancer, like, I think I'm nice. And then they was like, because, like, dancers could be mean, y'all. Like, some girls are really mean girls. And I don't even be trying to be like that, but also I'm not no pushover either, you know? One of the girls was like, you are not nice, honey Kate. And I was like, what? I'm like, I am nice. What do you mean? She was like, you cool, but like, you not nice. I'm like, what? I was really shocked. <laughs> like, I swear, y'all. I was like, I was really shocked. I was like, what? Like, I'm nice. Like, what the, um, another girl gonna say, I think you cool. Like, and then another girl gonna say, I think you could just humble yourself sometimes. I said humble myself. I think I'm humble as fuck. I think I'm like one of one of the humblest people in the club. Like, what do you mean humble myself sometimes? I was like humble myself. I said I'm very humble. Like, what? And she was like, I think it's just when you get off the liquor, you get real confident. Oh, baby, there's a difference between being humble and having confidence. I said, well, I'm not going to humble myself down to make the next person feel more confident. Like, what? Like, I'm humble enough, but I will pop my shit. Like, period. I'm not finna humble down to just not knowing who I am. Like, I'm confident, but I'm confidently humble in my eyes. So, I was just like, girl, please. At that point, I was like, conversation over. I'm sorry because there's no way you think I should humble myself down more than I already am. Only people who are gonna say I'm not super nice are people who are either overly sensitive and can't take the truth and can't take my bluntness because i'm a sag babe i'm gonna speak my mind i don't bite my tongue for nobody so if i ever get into it with somebody or if somebody ever feels like i'm mean it's probably because i do speak my truth like i'm never gonna sugarcoat nothing to make no nobody feel better because i do stand up for myself at work i will tell girls how it is and that's just that and i feel like it's a the trap like baby it's not like all hearts and kisses in this mug like it's the trenches and you gotta just be how you gotta be <sighs> what you gotta be a tough cookie when it comes to this dancer life so i be nice but i'm not gonna be nice enough to let this run over me or let people say whatever to me do whatever none of that it never gave that i'm just like i don't know i guess if you consider that being mean then i guess i'm mean if you really know me for real then i'm not mean then there was another girl who i'm cool with her and people call her mean too sometimes so i was like do you think i'm mean because people be calling you mean she gonna say you can't ask me that because people call me mean so i don't really say people is mean until i know them i'm like exactly the people who said that i was mean are people who never hung out with me for real before that's just what that gave and then we counted our money and then i came home with this y'all look at all this hair i'm crying but this is the money we came home with i'm about to run it y'all and then i'll check back in with y'all once we run this Be 
bitches and make it bail, ho. These are the ones that we made last night after running it. So we have 100, 200, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then we have leftover $13. So that's 1,013 plus 50 is 1,063. So we made 1,063 last night. And yeah, let's do a total of what we made this weekend since I didn't vlog it. I made 1,200 even on Friday, 162 on Saturday, and an 1,063 on Sunday. So that is a weekend of 2,425. So we made $2,425 this weekend with the new hours of the club so that's not horrible it could have been better i really wanted like a 3k 4k weekend it's really because of saturday to be honest i kind of regret going to those other clubs on thursday to be honest because on thursday it was only five girls working at my club and they all went home with like 1300 or something like that i wish i would have went to work on thursday as well it's okay we did that because we wanted to go check out other clubs and i'm glad i did so now i don't have that curiosity about do i want to go work at other clubs or not i know for a fact that I'm going to stick to my club and then work my day shift club during the week sometimes. So yeah, y'all, yeah, I'm about to go ship off this wig. One of my wigs sold on Depop, so I got to go ship that off. And then I got to go make a bank run. Y'all are just going to be with me for the whole day start to finish. And we do have plans later as well. So keep watching this video, y'all, because you just never know what's going to happen. All right, guys. So I'm packaging up the wig right now that sold on my Depop. I really need to hurry up. Like, I just got hit up for some plans that I completely forgot I agreed to last night. <sighs> like, man, sometimes I feel like I really be pulling myself in so many different directions to the point where I be literally mentally exhausted and like physically exhausted at the same time. So that's why I be going missing for days. Like lately, some people have been telling me that I've been acting fake. And like, it's really because I'm not texting back or I'm not answering the phone or whatever. But I legitimately be busy. If I'm not at the strip club or I'm not trying to spend time with friends or trying to spend time with family or trying to get in the gym or trying to cook a home cooked meal or trying to get some damn sleep. You want me to talk on the phone with you like or text you back every second of the day. I'm editing YouTube videos. I'm doing so many things at one time. And it's getting to the point where it's like, Y'all just gonna have to call me fake. Y'all just gonna have to call me fake until I get where I wanna be. And then I'll have all the time in the world to not be fake. But as of right now, baby, I gotta get to it. So if fake is what I'm gonna be, then fake is what I'm gonna be. Like, I'm sorry. So we're about to go ship this wig off. Of course, pink packaging. And then I got my ones in my Louis bag, y'all. We're about to go to the bank. It's, it's, it's full. We gotta go to the bank. So yeah, I'm going to see y'all once we get to the post office and the bank. We're going to go to the bank first. I'll let y'all know what we're about to get ready for when I get back and I start getting ready. I've been trying to be consistent waist training. So I am waist training right now, y'all. Um, but we just got to the bank, so. I tried to get here as fast as I could. I know y'all about to close soon. But it's not going to take, take that long. <laughs> so I'm going to deposit. And it needs to be last week. You said you needed me last week? <laughs> oh, hell no, y'all. I was just stuck in this elevator. Let me out. <laughs> I don't even play these type of games. Uh-uh. <laughs> you me, right? Yeah, yeah. Y'all, I'm at home. I have uh, 30, I have 46 minutes to get completely ready. So, starting the timer now. I gotta hurry. Y'all hear the shower running? I'm finna hop in the shower right now.
so it's like midnight now why is my instagram being so dumb why what anyways i've been home since 10 o'clock and i had to just straighten my house up y'all i was like bruh i literally destroyed my house before i left trying to rush and all of that and honestly i don't even know what i showed y'all of the show because i honestly don't even want to show too much because then people are gonna think they know like who show i went to or what friend i'm talking about and i just hate that for me sometimes like people really be trying to put two and two together and be very loud and be very wrong so like to avoid that i'm not even about to give y'all like much to go off of even if i say it's a friend people gonna think something the show was cool after the show the driver just brought me home that was cool or whatever right now i need to take my nails off because i broke a nail so ghetto i'm getting my nails done on wednesday though and my hair done i'm actually gonna do a maintenance vlog because i'm about to take my hair down tomorrow too i'm actually about to get everything done let me know down below if you guys want a maintenance vlog because i like when i'm like about to get everything done and then do a maintenance vlog i'm gonna get my nails done wednesday my hair done wednesday and i'm gonna do my own individual lashes because right now these are strips and i'm like dying to rip them off my face to be honest for the sake of this video i'm keeping them on a little bit longer yeah, y'all let me know down below in the comments if y'all want a maintenance vlog or not. So yeah, I'm about to take these nails off. I also want to fill up some more envelopes. So we're going to do that as well. Because y'all do be asking me like, what's the update? And I'm still doing it. I'm going to finish. Like, I don't care about none of that. I'm going to finish. I've literally been putting myself on a strict budget so that I can finish. So I'm about to take these nails off real quick. And then once I do that, we'll do our envelopes. Okay, y'all, it's, like, so freaking late right now. I done got caught up watching a show, and next thing you know, it's 2 in the morning. But my sleep schedule is so messed up. But we're going to do some of our envelopes. I don't know how far behind I am, but I know I was, like, I think I was, like, four days behind, y'all. Y'all, how do they be doing the uh, money spreads? I can't do it. Niggas be looking so cool when they be doing it. They be like, I don't know how they do it. Y'all know what I'm talking about, where they be spreading the money. I could do it like this. Is this considered a spread? Anyways, let me stop playing games. It's 2.30 in the morning. Why are you trying to spread money? Like, what is wrong with me? I did take my nails off, y'all, too. I literally have one piece of a nail that I cannot get off my freaking nail, and it hurts. It's literally a little piece on my nail. But okay, first envelope, y'all. We're gonna put 232 up in there. Girl, one, two, 200. 20. I should have got 10s. I knew I should have got 10s. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 112, 212, 232. 232 in the envelope. Somebody on Instagram was like, Are you doing your envelope challenge in ones? I was like, absolutely not. <laughs> I would not be able to fit $232 in this little envelope. Next is 172 So we got 100 50 20 And then $2. Y'all, imagine I did all these envelopes. And it don't even add up. To 22k <laughs> nah it has to though it has to no way it doesn't all right next we got 288 200 oh that's why you double count because it's only 60 not 80 two four six eight and then this is eight dollars 288 i have posted my envelope challenge on my instagram or whatever and some people were like oh you're motivating me to do one like i'm so inspired by you doing it i want to do it some girls that i work with are even doing it one girl told me she's like i'm gonna do it but i'm gonna do it for 30k i'm like period you do it do your big one because like we really be spending money and like we spend it as fast as we get it sometimes and then you don't even realize where you where it went I don't like ever spending my money 
and not knowing where it went. Like, not having anything to show for your money is crazy to me. So I'm just like, get, I touch too much money for me to not be able to save up, you know? Like, save my money and just have hella bread stacked up. Like, I'm just going to continue to challenge myself. Of course, I have a plan of what I'm going to do with some of the money. Some of it's going to go into my savings and the rest of it is going to go towards making me more money. To add to these envelopes takes mad discipline, bro. The challenge is for 100 days. I'm proud of me. So I'm definitely going to have to proud of me after this. <laughs> the next one is $216. Do 100, 200, and then I don't have no small bills so but i'm not doing that one right now because i don't want to do 16 dollars in ones so we're gonna do we're gonna do this one instead 164 so 100 one two three four dollars 20 40 60 so that is we got 100 20, 40, 60, 1, 2, 3, 4, 164. I've been talking for 13 minutes already. I only did four envelopes. 320. 1, 2, 3, 20. About to do 352. 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3, 50, 1, 2. So that's 352. Do 260. We're going to do 100, 200. 1, 2, 50, 1, 2. 260. How many envelopes have we done? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 7 so far. 160, 150, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 1, 50, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So it's 160, envelope number 8. This might be the last one that I could do. We're going to do 356. I don't even know if I could do that. I only have three dollars. I could find three dollars somewhere. Let me see. So we got one, two, three, fifty, and then three dollars. So that's three fifty three. Let me find three dollars somewhere around this house. Hold on. Okay, I got three dollars. So a hundred, two hundred, three hundred, fifty, one hundred, two hundred, three, fifty, four, fifty five, fifty. So three fifty six. So I only have one fifty left, and that's not enough for any of these. So we're gonna put this in our purse, and it's gonna be my little allowance for the week or something. That's not even gonna be enough. This gonna be my nail money, cause I need to get my nail, my nails and my toes done. So we did one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine envelopes. We're basically, we're almost done, y'all. Almost done. But I'm going to go ahead and do my night routine and stuff, y'all. And I am going to keep the vlog going. So don't click off yet. And make sure you like this video. You still here? Like this video. Good morning, guys. So today is Tuesday now. And I am up. And ready to go. I have a doctor's appointment. Why can't I open this? I'm about to take my immunity boost shot. This one is like spicy. This is not like the detox one. This one is actually like kind of spicy. So. Ooh. We are about to do a drive to my um, primary care doctor. Because I have Kaiser. So, my primary care doctor is an hour away where my parents live. So, I could have got a new primary care doctor closer to where I live, but I really like my doctor. I want to figure out my skin situation. Like, I've tried a couple things, different products. It just gives, like, it's, like, internal. 
I don't know if I need to change my diet. I don't know. I really don't know. So it just gives like, okay, I need to go see a dermatologist and get more insight about what's going on. So with Kaiser, you need a referral to see a dermatologist. So you have to go to your primary care doctor first. They have to see if it's serious enough in their eyes to refer you to a dermatologist, which is like basically a specialist. I went to my primary care doctor like two years ago when my skin first started acting up. And when I went, basically my doctor told me like, okay, well your acne is not bad enough for you to go to a dermatologist. I'm gonna prescribe you clindamycin. I used the clindamycin, the clindamycin clearly didn't work. So I just kinda like, okay, well she said my skin not bad enough, then I'm just gonna, um, you know, try like over the counter things and try to fix it myself. I've been doing that for about over a year. So no, babe, prescribe me something. I'm just over it, I, it's about it. summertime, like, it's about to be the time where you don't want to wear no makeup, some tinted sunscreen or something, you know? Like, that's the vibe that I want to be on this summer. So I need to get this skin together. Like, for real. This is like a legitimate close-up. So y'all can really see for real. And this is my right side. My right side is worse than my left, for sure. I have one little blemish right here. I don't really get chin acne. Forehead, no, my forehead be clear now. It's really just my cheeks. And like I'm not really worried about this it's my cheeks that I'm worried about so we're about to go see what she say I'm about to put tins on it I'm not gonna lie I'm about to tell her my face hurts like you need to give me something help me please <laughs> and I'm just wearing this cross chain today so cute um, my palm angel sunglasses with the all black long sleeve dress and my bracelet and then I'm wearing my Christian Dior sandals and they're black so and then my hair clip is from forever 21 it's so cute I hope y'all can see it I hope I'm showing it I hope y'all seen it it's so cute and of course I'm gonna stop by and see my madre while I'm out there so yeah let's go the call that I missed who is the it's bestie <laughs> <laughs> Where you been at? It was connected, connected to my car. To yeah. All right. What did you say? Where you been at? I said, watch when y'all catch us back inside very soon. It's, it's summertime coming up. Y'all know how we ride. Summertime coming you up. You know, we was just stacking all when they looking up the summer. Same shit, different year. Y'all know how that go. Period. Make sure y'all tune in. Tune in. Tune Hit in. that like and subscribe button. Y'all gonna see some telling y'all. Period. <laughs> All right, y'all, we about to be on the road. On the road again. I'm about to play some tunes. I actually need to stop and get gas, y'all. Ugh, I hate getting gas. My husband's gonna take my car to the car wash and fill my tank up every now and then. That's just something he gonna have to do. I'ma just go, so I don't gotta stop again. Whatever. Y'all don't know how to merge into a lane? All people do at the gas station, not people, guys. They just be staring. Or they gonna try to talk to you. It never fails. I'm so freaking close to this thing. Gas is back at 550. And I just really hope it don't go to six dollars. Gas prices in LA always be high, but like I feel like during the summer and stuff, they raise the prices like the highest. I remember when it was up to like seven dollars. Right now it's five fifty-seven. Another gas station right here across the street is six oh nine. It's honestly ridiculous. These gas prices. We about to just ride, y'all, cause we got a whole hour. Got a I'm selfish about my perks, oh Shorty like a thousand dollar play Fine china, flash from the sky It's her body and her body, I refuse to compromise I'm a killer, oh, she a dime I'm twice, but I gotta be lying Cause I'm living ten lives, I go crazy about mine Run it from me, run it from me Run it from me Truly a blessing, you can make all the mess that you want You a smile city girl 
y'all why is traffic so bad like we halfway there though kind of yeah we like halfway there we might be like five minutes late it's just more traffic than I anticipated. Diamonds on me dancing. Pink and ring full of crystals, baby. Pink is all in the building. Come and take a picture, baby. Y'all can do that dance on me, baby. I throw a thousand more. This whole song, word for word. How you bring a knife to a gunfight? Fresh with it on me, know how I pop out. That bullshit is not important, what I'm about about. Started from the bottom, how the fuck I'm up here? Real shit. I don't know what they told you, but you got me fucked up. See how we walked in, you can't see we run stuff. When I come home late, this bitch can you wait? Cause I'ma eat it like it's on my plate. Just fix your face. Be closest to the sub, I put it go out. Yeah. Sunday afternoon, come and make it rain. We made it, y'all. I was nine minutes late, but we still made it. So we here. Let's pray she give me something. I know a lot of people be using like tread knowing. I need something. Actually, it's approved. Oh, it is approved. Yeah. Okay. My nurse is gonna help you schedule the appointment. Anything else that they can help you with today? No. Would it be possible for me to get the a dermatologist in like the Los Angeles area? Drop here. Yeah, but I like you as a doctor, so oh, I can you. <laughs> yeah, so I, I wanted to stay with you. Thank you. Very You're much. welcome. If there is something that we can do over phone or by video, you know, make a video telephone appointment. Uh, so Next time. Yeah. That's to help you schedule the appointment. Okay. Thank you. Very nice seeing you. Nice seeing you. Have a good one. All right, guys. So, good news, Bookie. Good news. I love my doctor because she gonna come through. We got our referral, period. We got our referral to the dermatologist. So we about to get this together. I love my doctor. I've only had two doctors my entire life. I had one pediatrician it's all the way until I was 18, and then they make you switch into an adult doctor. I went and got me a burrito from one of my favorite spots out here. It's called Me Ranchito. So fire. Uh, they burritos is so freaking good y'all and i haven't ate nothing all day because i've been fasting i only drink like a smoothie or something i've been doing it for like three days now i'm gonna do it for like seven days it's not to lose weight though right now i'm the heaviest i've ever been and i love how i look right now i didn't start gaining weight for real until i got older like when i was in high school i was 97 pounds all the way from like like ninth grade until i think i didn't hit like the hundreds and like the 105s and stuff until I was like 20, until I was like 21. Now I'm at the Albertsons parking lot and I'm about to eat my burrito really quick. And then we're gonna go inside Albertsons and go get my mom some flowers and I'm gonna take my mom some flowers to work. She knows that I'm out here and she knows I'm gonna come see her, but she just doesn't know like what time I'm gonna come see her and she definitely doesn't know I'm bringing her flowers. You really just gotta love on your people while they're here. I'm big on that, like I'm big on just doing nice things for the people while they're here because you don't want to ever be like damn did I show enough love like I'm definitely giving all the flowers to my loved ones while they're here so I'm literally about to go get my mom some flowers just to tell her like I love you girl have a good day at work here's some flowers you know my mom is definitely like my bestie too so yeah I'm about to um eat this and then we're gonna go get her flowers Kayla what's your name Kayla, nice to meet you Andre <laughs> Just a regular day. I just feel like I want some flowers today and nobody go buy them for me, so I'm gonna get them. Get out of here. Yeah. Why not? People don't buy flowers for themselves. I do. <laughs> okay, thank you, Kelly. Alright, well I'll be over here then. <laughs> that man really paid for my flowers, y'all, so I got me and my mom some flowers. Period. It pays to be pretty. What a coincidence he bought me these flowers, right? So like, I just feel like that goes to show when you do nice things for others, nice things happen to you. Like this is a prime example. But yeah, let's go take mom some flowers, y'all. Y'all, why I pull up my mom already outside her job? <laughs> hey girl. Hey, mama. How are you? These are for you. You're now listening to Tokyo and Sound. 
What's up, y'all? So I've been at home for like since like six o'clock. It's seven fifty-three, so it's about to be two hours since I've been. So when I first got here, I was chilling for a little bit, changed my clothes, and then I did my flowers, which they're so freaking cute. And then I organized some of my stuff in my cabinets, like I told y'all I've been wanting to do. I finally did it. I'm about to just mop my floors and then check back in with y'all. And then after I mop my floors, I'm gonna declutter my drawers in my room. I've been wanting to declutter my drawers for a minute, so I'm gonna do that tonight too. Y'all, I've been cleaning my A off, like kitchen, kitchen is spotless. And now we're about to start doing these drawers and go through some of these clothes. Let me give me something to drink while I do this. I emptied out one drawer and just threw it on the bed. And the reason I did it like that is because I'm the type of person, y'all, I can't just go through my clothes and be like, oh look okay i'm gonna keep this or oh look i'm gonna get rid of this like no i'm one of those people that are like i forgot how this looks on me wait let me try this on let me see if i want to keep it still mm, i don't like how it looks i'm gonna get rid of it or no nah, this is actually cute i need to wear this like i forgot i had this i'm one of those people yeah. you say you want me i don't ignore you you said it first but i meant it more girl oh. I can't explain. Be so persuasive. I made some changes. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Where were you this whole time? Come and see me now, not another time. You should come and see me on the regular. I don't know if we'll find a better time. Where were you this whole time? Come and see me now, not another time. You should come and see me on the regular. Sleeping with a pistol in my bed I'd rather have you here instead I gotta get out of my own head Don't let me down come here right now Don't let me down come here right now Don't let me down come here right now Grow up and face it, don't keep me waiting Tell me how you love me, then just say it all. Oh. through one drawer this is everything that i'm gonna keep so i'm gonna put that away and then this is what i'll either donate or give away this is only like some of the stuff that i'm gonna be giving away just because that's only one drawer i still have five six drawers to go through and this is what i'm just gonna throw away because it's not even worth giving away there's a hole in it and now i just realized it's 10 p.m and I still need to take my hair down and wash my hair and blow dry my hair. So I'm about to do that right now. I'm not going through any more drawers. I need to wash and blow dry my hair because my hair appointment is tomorrow. The easiest thing to take your wig off with is this. I just spray it. And rub it in. And it literally will just come off. It's basically off already. Oh yeah, it's off now.
All right, y'all, so I literally did everything I said I was going to do. Tomorrow, I am going to start a whole new vlog. It's going to be a maintenance vlog. I'm getting everything done, y'all. My lashes, I'm getting my nails done, my toes done, everything done, and then I'm going to go work. I'm getting everything done in one day. Make sure y'all stay tuned for that video. So make sure you don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Make sure you turn your post notifications on so you can be notified every time I post a video because who doesn't want to watch my videos? Everybody want to watch my videos, period. I love you guys so much.